So we are at the Ukraine booth right now at IFA 2025, where they have quite a few things that I need to show you guys. So these two units right here are kind of the star of the show for you green at this ifa so you've probably seen us covering some of the nasas before these are basically the next generation what they are calling the ai nas no yes yes i know the term ai is very much overused and in their case what makes this ai is the fact that it has a whopping laptop grade cpu in it either a core ultra 5 in the basic model or a core ultra 7 in the pro model that combined with up to the 64 gigabytes of ram allows you to run local models on it that can do stuff like sort and group photos and videos for you depending on what's for example present in them not to mention a full library of docker apps for you to play around with and if you need even more performance well, it has an Oculink port, which allows you to hook up a GPU for even more AI acceleration, or you can use it for, I don't know, adding in more storage if you need to. Plus, you also get dual 10 gigabit Ethernet, as well as an 8K HDMI port. Why on earth would you need that in an as? Well, in case you wanted to use it as, for example, a Plex server, so you can stream it to your 8K TV, which you totally have at home, right? And as you probably already noticed, the Pro model has a screen which, while totally unnecessary, is still kind of cool. This here is the one you've already seen. This is the one I have at home. This is the one they sent for me to review a while back. And now compare it to the size of the brand new ones. Even just beyond the fact that they are 6 bay, they're also thicker at the back just to give it all the cooling necessary to handle the additional hard drives as well as the much, much faster CPU. They are planning to send me one of these once they do come out, which we don't know when that is going to be, because they are still just doing the whole pre-orders business for it. However, when it does come out, definitely stay tuned because I'll be very much covering it. And if you want to help me create more content like this in the future, maybe check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way. Plus, huge thanks to Kevin Burns, Justin Rage, Alevronik, Badashvoka, Badak Harrison, and the pseudonym Nick Sumner and Shane Allcroft.